Hey guys, good evening and happy Wednesday to you. This is Kim, independent designer with Chalk Couture and Chalk is Chic. I'm going to get this pulled up really quick and shared over onto the VIP page. I hope y'all are doing super fantastic this day. Um, it is a cold day here in Mississippi. Very, very, very cold. Um, it has been snowing and we've gotten more ice and all kinds of jazz. I and ready for some warmer weather. I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big snow person. So I won't be sad when I see this stuff go away. But it is here for at least um, until Saturday. Um, that is going to be our first day that we actually get above freezing. So I hope no matter where this video finds you, you are warm and safe and happy. We're going to be doing a size B transfer today. It's um, let your dreams be your wings. Now, it comes with some moving parts, which are these little feathers um, that we can choose to use or not use. We are going to play it by ear once I get this piece on there. Um, and we're going to be working with Couture Teal in Bright White. So, we're going to start first by fuzzing this part of our transfer because it is a new transfer. So, we do want to fuzz a couple of times. We'll remove our silk screen and get it fuzzed a couple of good times. Um, you don't have to over fuzz, but you do want to fuzz a couple of times, especially when they're brand new. Um, but we're going to line this up and we will put this one down um, using Couture Teal and Bright White. And let me make this a little bit straighter. I don't know if my board's not straight or if I'm not straight, but I had to just straighten it out just a bit. So I'm going to go over my lettering with my fingers. Hey to everybody hopping on. Um, I do this versus using a squeegee. You can do either one. We're going to use bright white paste for let your and be your. And then dreams and wings, we're going to use arc tortille. So, these are our brand new paste um, formulation. So, we won't have to do a big chalk pull because remember, in case you missed my live on Monday, um, the new paste formula that we have is so much easier, especially if you're a brand new chalker. You don't have to chalk pull as much because the dry time is a lot lengthier. Um, so we're going to be able to chalk this all at one time and let it be, which is kind of nice. If you have followed me for a long time, um, chalk pull is one of those methods that I do teach just because our old formula required you to pretty much pull up between certain spots. But you're going to see that this one, um, we're using both brand new chalk paste formulas, um, it should be fine. We should be able to get to the very end of this and be A-OK -okay without any problems whatsoever. So we're just squeegeeing on and squeegeeing off like normal, but I'm not fretting about that little area that I chalked previously in white. We should be OK. Will be the real test. So, the cool thing is, is that our new chalk paste formula, it works the same. It's still removable. It just dries slower. So, for new chalkers, it's going to be a lot better because um, we were able to leave that down the whole entire time. We're going to give this a pull. Remember, you pull top to bottom or side to side. You never want to pull corner to a corner. And... We're going to take our dryer and dry this. Just because it is the new formula, it does take a little bit longer to dry. Normally, I would say about five to six minutes, um, give or take, if you let it dry on its own. But y'all know me. If you watch my lives long enough, you know that I always find the wet chalk paste. So I'm being smart and drying this. But it's kind of cool that we can leave that down the whole time. Now, if I would have thought a little bit different about it, I will tell you I would probably do the white portion last just because it is a smaller font and a smaller linear line, but this other part did perfectly fine and we were able to leave it down the whole time. So what I'm going to do is use just a couple of the wings or the feathers. I don't want to use a ton of them. 
Um, and I am going to stick with my Shimmer Frost. So we're going to change up our chalk paste colors just a bit and do Shimmer Frost. Now, if I had to give you an example of how this new Chalkology paste dries, I would tell you that I feel like it dries like a shimmer because our shimmers have always dried a lot slower um, than our normal chalk paste colors, which is not a bad thing. It's just different. We're going to have to just get used to the new. But in case you missed my live on Monday, if you have Chalkology paste, you don't have to throw them out, guys. You can mix these interchangeable between the new and the old. You do not have to get rid of your chalk paste just because you have new stuff and old stuff. You can totally use the two together. You just have to be mindful whenever you are chalking that you are using either new stuff or old stuff. Know that your shimmers are going to be a little bit different, but the dry time between your shimmer and your new Chalkology paste formula is actually going to be about the same. Um, so it's kind of cool. And it lets you work a little bit longer. But of course, if you're working on a project, you are going to want to definitely dry if you're working on layers or multiple pieces together. So that's going to be the major takeaway from all the changes that are kind of happening with the Chalkology paste. I'm actually going to test it tomorrow. Supposedly, this does not... Um, it does not freeze in cold weather. So in case you're not from Mississippi area, it is frigid cold. It's been snowing here off and on all day long. So I think tomorrow morning, not overnight tonight, but tomorrow morning, I'm going to take one of my brand new jars of paste and I'm going to stick it outside. And later on that afternoon, we're going to see how it does. We're going to see how it holds up because it's not supposed to freeze. So we're going to put that to the test. I'm going to test it out for you. And I will let you know if that is absolutely positively 100% on point. In fact, I'm so confident in it. I'm going to take my Couture Teal out there. And that's the one I'm going to leave out there. So that's my promise to you for tomorrow. Um, I will be posting going out there live and putting it out on my little patio area and letting it sit outside all day until I chalk with y'all tomorrow night and just see how it goes. We're going to do, I don't know how I want to do this one. Mm, we'll go up a little bit. I don't want anything at the tip top. It's just odd. So I think we're going to go right there and see how I like it. If I don't like it, I can always erase it and put it somewhere else. But I do love this transfer. Um, the wings transfer, it actually is supposed to be back soon. It was one of our very first sellouts, um, which is one of the reasons why I have not demoed it live for y'all. But let me see if I can grab it real quick and show you what it looks like. It is one of those transfers that is just absolutely positively gorgeous. But because it sold out, I have not demoed it. I'll have to find it and grab it and show y'all. But at the realistically, this transfer itself, this let your dreams be your wings, would be so cute in the middle of that um, wings that sold out. It's going to be back soon. It did sell out though. It's a size C transfer and it's absolutely gorgeous. So hopefully y'all can see that okay. I love the detail on the little feathers. Super duper cute. You can use those in a number of different ways, but that's shimmer frost and let your dreams be your wings. So tomorrow is going to be a science project, for real. I'm going to take our new Chalkology paste, um, our Couture Teal, and I'm going to take that creamy, dreamy paste that's brand new, and I'm going to stick it outside and let it stay outside for a bit, um, several hours, and we will see if it holds true that it does not freeze. Um, that is one of the benefits to the new Chalkology paste, because the old stuff did freeze. 
on any given day in the cold weather. And if you live in the cold, like we're not used to the cold here in Mississippi, not like this. Um, but it was a real problem. So we'll see how that goes. That will be my science project for y'all tomorrow. I promise to post pictures for you so you can see me leaving it outside. I'll even mark the can or the jar some way so you know it's the same jar. But let your dreams be your wings. Super cute size B transfer on our Aiden frame. Love, love, love it. And this I will definitely demo again on the big, big wings transfer. So I hope y'all have an amazing Wednesday night. I'm going to go snuggle with some dogs because they have been like by my side like glue because it's so, so cold here. But I hope no matter where this video finds you, you are warm and safe and having a great Wednesday. I will talk with you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.